now we are going to discuss about neutral acidic and basic solutions we already studied that due to the dissociation of water h2o molecule is dissociated into h plus and oh minus ions but in the case of water the number of h plus ions is equal to the number of OH minus ions. H plus ions is equal to OH minus ions. In the case of neutral solution, the concentration of H plus and OH minus ions remains equal. We can say that the neutral solution is the one in which the concentration of H plus and OH minus ions are equal. If a solution is neutral, its H plus and OH minus ions should be equal. But in the case of acidic solution, the concentration of H plus ions is greater than OH minus ions. Acid produces more H plus ions. That means H plus number of H plus concentration of H plus ions is greater than OH minus ions ions in the case of basic solution bases furnishes oh minus ions so the number of oh minus ions is greater than h plus ions the concentration of oh minus is greater than h plus ions in the case of basic solution number of h plus ions is greater than oh minus ions in the acidic solution h plus and oh minus ions are equal in the case of neutral solution now we are going to discuss about pH and its importance what is pH we know in the case of acid and base hydrogen ions plays a uh, very important role in the case of acid H plus ions and the case of base OH minus ions plays an important role in producing acid and bases. pH means power of hydrogen. We can make a scale to measure the concentration of acid and base by using its power of hydrogen. How, how many hydrogen ions are present in that solution determines the concentration of that acid or base in the case of acid it is H plus and the case of base it is OH minus ions a scale is developed based on the concentration of hydrogen that is known as pH scale and uh, it is designed uh, by using a technique logarithmic scale you may not be understand about logarithmic scale it is a different uh, technique to calculate numbers before developing calculator we use logarithmic table for calculation normally you can study it in your maths textbook nowadays we exclude this part uh, by the use of many other calculational uh, techniques so i am not going to explain what is logarithm or what is logarithmic scale how we can calculate uh, logarithmic ph values using logarithmic scale etc etc i am going through only the important portions of this part we can go through ph scale we are not going through the calculation related to pH scale. pH scale contains numbers from 0 to 14. It range from 0 to 14. pH 7 is considered as neutral. Below 7 is acidic and above 7 is basic. In detail, if a solution's pH value is 0 to 6.9, it is an acid if it is 7 it is neutral if its pH value is 7.1 to 14 
it is base we can simply say that below 7 is ph and above 7 is poh power of hydroxide ions ph plus poh is equal to 14 that means 7 plus 7 is equal to 14 if uh, the so, ph value of a solution is 0 it means it's very concentrated as acid if the value ph value of a solution is 14 it means it is a concentrated base if ph value of a solution is 7 it means it's a neutral solution we can simply say that ph plus poh is equal to 14 Here is a pH of many substances we used and we deal with our daily life. Some uh, common acids, HCl, hydrochloric acid, its pH value is 0. Lemon juice, its pH value is 2. Pure water, its pH value is 7. Fresh milk, 5. Some common bases, blood plasma. 7.4 the blood in our body is a base egg white its base pH value is 8 sea water pH value is 8 sodium hydroxide its pH value is 14 lime water its pH value is 12 etc etc pH is determined by using pH meter we can study it in, in our higher classes if we deal with the uh, acid and uh, study more in our degree or other classes. Normally we use universal indicator or pH paper to find out the pH value of a solution. pH paper is a mixture of a number of indicators. It is shows a specific color at a given pH. If our pH paper shows red color, we can identify its pH value is 0. If its color is dark blue, its pH value is 14, etc. We can identify easily the solution is how concentrated by using uh, color of pH paper. pH paper is a indicator just like our litmus paper but it is made up of many indicators using many indicators. It shows various colors in different concentration. If you if we use uh, blue, blue litmus to check whether the substance is acidic or basic we can see the color of litmus changes when we dip it in acid. If it is pH value is 0 or pH value is 6, both litmus color changes to blue to red. But if we use pH paper, its color is changed according to the pH value. Importance of pH in everyday life. This part you already studied in your fourth standard. pH plays and ve plays very important role in our daily life. Some examples: humans and animals. pH in humans and animals. Most of the biochemical reactions taking place in our body are narrow pH range seven to seven point eight. Even a small pH change in small pH disturbs the process and it is harmful to our body. For example, ant bait inject and ant inject formic acid into our body when it bites us. Then we will feel irritations, pain and the part is swelling up. So our body's pH is changes. Most of the animals lives in a narrow band of pH. Some of them acidic, some of them basic and some of them are neutral. 
Next one, acid rain. When the pH of rain water falls below 5.6, it is called acid rain. In our atmosphere contains carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide and sulfur dioxide. When it mixes with water, it forms, it turns to carbonic acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. By falling all this acid with the rain, rainwater shows acidic nature. If its pH value is less than 5.6, it is very harmful to living organisms. And also non-living organisms. We already studied uh, the case of Taj Mahal. Due to acid rain, its white color is changes to uh, yellow color. Pollution of atmosphere is causes acid rain. pH in plants. Plant growth also uh, plants grow also in a narrow band of pH, just like animals. Some plants grow in acidic medium. Some plants grow in basic medium. In our digestive system contains acid. We already studied hydrochloric acid is contains in our stomach. It helps in the digestion of our food. If its amount is increased, it causes acidity. If it reduces, our digestion will not take place in easy way. If acid is more, we use antacids. It's a base for neutralizing acid. Milk of magnesia is an example of antacid. If we go to a doctor with pain, stomach pain, doctor will prescribe antacid. If it is causes, uh, the cause of pain is acidity, doctor uh, prescribes antacid. Self-defense of animals and plants. If we touch some plants, we feel some irritations. So we didn't go to the such type of plants. Nettle plant is an example. And some animals. Just like ants, bee, if it bites, we feel irritations and pain. So we didn't touch them. This type of uh, plants and animals uses acid for their self protection. They inject uh, acid to our body. Another one is tooth decay. Our tooth is very strong. It is made up of calcium phosphate, it's the strongest part in our body. But due to continuous uh, uh, effect of acid, it uh, damages. If we eat sugar containing food, some bacteria in our mouths turns it into acid. Continuously we didn't clean our mouths, it will affect our teeth and gradually our teeth will in a tooth enamel become damaged and cause, uh, causes tooth decay. We have stop now here yeah, we can discuss the remaining part in our next class.